Now let's try to answer the following question. How many Caesar ciphers are there? Uh, you might think there are infinitely many. There is an infinite number of them, but that answer is not correct. Uh, you might think that because you can shift to the right one unit. You can also shift to the right two units, to the right three units, and so on and so forth. And so you might think there are the number of uh, scissor ciphers is exactly the same as the number of shifts that you can make. But that's actually not the case. After a certain point, uh, when you shift, then you're going to start getting back the same ciphers again. The same situation is going to happen if you shift to the left. So if you shift to the left uh, one unit or two units, shifting to the left one unit is actually the same as shifting to the right a certain number of units that I will tell you later. So I'm going to start analyzing uh, this uh, question. And the reason we want to answer this question is because this kind of question will lead to an important concept that I mentioned, I believe, a couple of videos ago. That was the division algorithm. Now, so let's start analyzing this scissor ciphers, so the number of shifts that we can do. So let's analyze the shifts to the right, or in this case, the shifts going clockwise. So every time I say now to the right, it will mean that it's just uh, clockwise. So let's say you have a shift uh, to the right. And so, and how many ways can you do that? Well, let's start with the most obvious thing, and it's shifting nothing. So you shift to zero units to the right. That's the worst thing that you can do for some kind of encryption. That's actually doing nothing. If you shift to zero positions to the right, you're actually not changing the plain text. So in this case, if you use that shifting, so the plain text will be equal to the cipher text. Of course, you don't want to do that because the cipher text, remember, is the the message that is being sent to the SQL channel. And if the cipher text is equal to the plain text, you're not doing actually anything. You're not hiding the plain text. But you can also do a uh, shift to the right one unit. So that's valid. So you can shift one unit to the right. Or you can shift two units to the right, but in this case, two units clockwise, uh, three units to the right. That's the one we, we have been doing in the examples, the previous examples. So these are the examples, examples one and two that we did. But you don't have to do three units to the right. You can do one, two, three, four, five, anything. And you can do, uh, let's say, 25. And the reason I'm stopping at 25 there is because um, the following reason. After 25, if you shift 26 positions to the right, or in this case, uh, clockwise, what's going to happen here? Um, so let's go back to the, uh, to the circular arrangement of, of letters. So where will A be transformed? When you have a Caesar cipher, every letter is going to be transformed into some other letter. And that's going to happen for all the letters. Every letter is being transformed into some other letter. So what happens with the letter A? If we shift 26 positions to the right or 26 positions clockwise, because we have 26 letters in the English alphabet, if I start here at A and I go one, two, three, four, five. I go back, Z is 25, 26. So A gets transformed into A. The same thing is gonna happen with B. So B, if I shift B 26 clockwise, I'm gonna start like this. One, two, three, four, five, and so on until I go all the way around the circle and I get back to B again. So B gets transformed into B. The same is going to happen to C, the same is going to happen to D, the same is going to happen to E and so on and so forth. 
So what's going on here? What's going on here is you're not shifting basically anything. Every letter gets transformed into exactly the same letter. So shifting 26 clockwise is exactly the same. It has the same effect as shifting zero to the right, or in this case, clockwise. So 26 is equivalent, and I'm gonna mark that down with some other color. Let's just say that this is uh, equivalent to zero, to shift in zero positions to the right or zero clockwise. I'm gonna use the white color for the numbers, so zero. Okay, what happens with, for example, 27? So let's see 27. 27. So if I shift 26 position clockwise, what's gonna happen with the letter A? Well, let's see. Let's go back here to the uh, circular arrangement of letters. So let's take the letter A. I'm gonna go 27 clockwise. Well, if I go 27, I have to go 26 first and then one more, right? So I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five, go all the way around 26, 27. So what's happening there? What happens is that the letter A got transformed into the letter B. That looks like a shift to the right, just one unit. Is that happening for B also? Yes, of course, it is happening for B because if I start here at B, if I wanna know where B is transformed by a shift of 27 um, positions clockwise, so I start at B, and so I say one, two, three, four, five. I go around. When I go to the letter B, I get 26 and then 27. So B will be transformed into C. That is a shift of one unit to the right. Every letter is gonna be transformed one unit to the right. And that's what we are in this. What is the shift where we are doing? This is 27 to the right or clockwise. So 27 to the clockwise or to the right, so 27 to the right, is actually equivalent to going clockwise only one unit. And why is equivalent? Because every letter is basically, tra basically transform one unit to the right to the next letter, the letter just after that. What happens with 28? So let's see 28. So 28, some of you might already know what's gonna happen here. Uh, so all the letters will be shift 28 position clockwise. The letter A is gonna be shift 28 positions, B, C, and D. Now what's gonna happen with the letter A? So let's go back again to the circle and see what happens with the letter A. So I have my letter A here. This is my letter A. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shift that 28 positions. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Of course, I count all the way around it. I get back to eight, that's 26, 27, 28. So basically what happens here is that the letter A is being transformed into the letter C. That's exactly the same as transforming the letter A two positions clockwise. Exactly the same is gonna happen with the letter B. 